Hi guys, this is the paint pressure pot. I just took it out of the packaging. This one came from Germany. I think it was advertising it as 85 or 95 pounds, but a please offer and I offered 80 pounds and they accepted it. I'll put a link to where I bought it from in the description. Comes with a cool little paint gun. I've got one already, but I'll keep this in my collection. I might use it for a different project. Comes with some extra holes in. We don't need that. All we do need that it comes with is the pressure gauge, has a shut off valve, and handily comes with a blow off valve already. So you don't even have to worry about that. So the only thing I had to buy is that simple was a free apes female end cap for here. A quarter end cap female and that is to go on the other end of the outlet valve of the shut off valve. See it there? Sorry about the lighting, I'm going to work on that. Then this would attach here. I'm just mocking it up, I'm not putting it here. It comes with this anyway for handiness. You put this on. And because my airline is a push connector, which they come with it anyway, connect it to the, the blow off valve. I'll be using white tape to secure them all. And some Loctite. Literally that's it. This one is rated to working pressure of 80 psi. I will be no, going nowhere near 80 psi. And yeah, there you go. You saved yourself 200 pounds. Well, 120 pounds. By just doing a very, very simple conversion of a 3 8 female cap, 3 8 female cap, and a quarter female cap. That's all you need. I'll put a link to where I bought them, but that's it. And uh, I'm going to button this all up, tighten it all up, and then I'll, I'll show you the pressure test. Um, just give us a minute to secure it right. Hi guys, I've got it pretty much buttoned up, and I haven't put any Loctite on it yet, and I realise I hadn't done this bottom one yet here either. But we'll give it a quick pressure test for you. Uh, test the blow off valve. I believe they're set to about, I think it's 40 psi. So we'll get close to 40 and uh, let's see if it goes off, which is quite scary. But no worries, I've got my, uh, my holes, air lines hooked up, so it might get noisy in a minute when the compressor gets low because it's only a, well, I've got a 90, it's only a 100. But let's go, let's give it a go. Clip it in. It's on. Let's let some air in. Slowly. So that's 10. That's 20 pounds. That's 30 psi. It's about your average car tyre when you think about it that. Let's keep on going. Now the tank's back full up, that's the MIA compression, it probably won't happen to you. Right, that's 40 psi, and I can hear the blower valve starting to let some out. So, if I go a little bit more, don't do this at home, it should pop. That's what a blower valve does. So it looks like it is set to about 40. Even though it's 80 psi, so it's half the working pressure the blow off valve set to. But for Illuminite, just under 40, 35 is perfect. That's all I need, so I'm not really worried about it. I might change the, the blow off valve if I'm getting bubbles, but other than that, I think I'm alright. Yeah, it's set to 40, or around 40, because it's starting to let a little bit of air out. There you go, it's all stopped now. And it's sitting at, I don't know, 35. 37 psi and that's pretty much it that'll work fine for your aluminum I can't hear any leaks and don't forget the aluminum 7 minutes demold time 
so any sort of little wet air leak like that is not going to make any difference it's not going to lose so much pressure between them times uh, the clear cast is I'll have a look through it actually I think yeah demold time up to 90 minutes so even then it's not going to really make a big difference but uh, yeah do some subscribing to me and you'll see lots more and hopefully one day you don't see me blow up but that's holding its pressure perfectly and if you want to see me release the pressure there's two ways of doing this you can pull the blow off out and you can release the top you can do the most to release all the pressure Once all the pressure's gone, then it's safe to undo it. Never undo them before, or it will probably take your face off. Well, thanks, guys. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. I'm sure you guys have noticed something I've done wrong, but seems fine to me. Thanks a lot.